So what's going on guys, it is GM, it is Speedboxing, make sure you guys subscribe to this channel before you click on to any of the videos, also comment below in the comment section if you guys have any opinions on what I'm saying in any of my videos, like always, it is appreciated. If you guys could drop me a quick sub to on my channel, so, two weight world champion in less than 10 professional fights, and former amateur star and two-time Olympic gold medalist Vasil Lomachenko will be back in action on August the 8th against Colombian fighter and former two time world title challenger Miguel Mariago and a lot of people are saying this is a very easy fight for Vasil Lamachanko and it is on paper a very easy fight because Mariago is a very limited fighter he's a tough man and he comes to fight but compared to Vasil Lamachenko he's very limited but to be fair a lot of fighters are very limited compared to Vasil Lamachenko but people know what I mean Mariago was totally shut out by Nicholas Walters and Oscar Valdez Oscar Valdez in his last fight totally dominated Mariago, dropping him in the 10th round and we all saw what Vasil Lamachenko did to Nicholas Walters like he just totally dominated him, made him quit just totally broke his heart in there so yeah this is a very easy fight for Vasil Lomachenko but to be fair people are saying oh he should be fighting all the top guys and all this stuff but to be fair not a lot of top guys really want to get in the ring with him <laughs> especially at super featherweight like IBF champion Javonta Davis wants no part of Vasil Lomachenko. I'm telling you now, he will not get in the ring with Vasil Lomachenko. And also for Belchett as well, he's fighting the Japanese fighter. Oh, I forgot his name now, his name escapes me. Oh, the guy fought Vargas. Yeah, he's fighting, is it this month? Yeah, I think it's this month. So he can't fight. So yeah, it's just the WBO champion Vasil Lomachenko right now who can't really get a big name in the super featherweight division Salido keeps pricing himself out of the fight or the rematch Orlando Salido is the only guy to defeat Vasil Lomachenko in his second professional fight he beat him by a split decision in a very very dirty fight from Orlando Salido like, totally dirty but it is what it is and yeah Mariago against Vasil Lomachenko on August the 5th but a lot of people have been saying he's ducking Guillermo Rigondeaux because Guillermo Rigondeaux has been calling out Vasil Lomachenko all week saying I'll come to £130 and fight oh that's not a problem but the thing is I think if Vasil Lomachenko's team were like oh then let's talk ok £130 I think Rigondeaux would have went oh you know what let's do about 127 or 128 I don't think Guillermo Rigondeaux really would have went up to £130 because he knows that's a massive disadvantage to him and a very big advantage for Vasil Lomachenko. He knows how talented Vasil Lomachenko is. So if he fought Vasil Lomachenko, he wants to go in there with the same advantages as a Vasil Lomachenko has. But yeah, that fight looks like it's never going to happen. In my opinion, I think Guillermo Rigondeaux is way too small for Vasil Lomachenko. This is a guy who's small at super bantamweight. Like... Go and watch Kalima Rigondeaux fight when he's at super bantamweight and tell me he if he looks the bigger guy in the ring because he never really does. He's a small guy at super bantamweight, Kalima Rigondeaux, whereas Vasil Lomachenko is an actual lightweight. So to be honest, he'd be giving up a lot of size to Vasil Lomachenko and I think Lomachenko would defeat Kalima Rigondeaux based on that. Don't get me wrong, I see Kalima Rigondeaux having success in the fight and the fight being competitive for a bit because um, Guillermo Rigondeaux when he throws single shots is fantastic and that straight left hand he throws is probably one of the best punches in boxing today but the size would just be too much in my opinion and not to mention not only the size Vasil Lomachenko is elite in terms of skill wise the movement the punch combinations so yeah I just see him being too much for somebody like Guillermo Rigondeaux especially if he was the bigger man don't get me wrong if they were both the same fight if they were both the same size then I see that fight being very competitive and it'll be a fantastic fight but nah I think Guillermo Rigan now is too small for Vasil Lomachenko so yeah it is what it is Vasil Lomachenko versus Miguel Mariago on August the 5th an easy fight on paper for Vasil Lomachenko I expect him to totally dominate uh, Mariago who is a tough man when it comes to fight but he is very limited so yeah JM it's people